A proposed pipeline underneath the Ohio River would bring natural gas to two small plants, Centerpoint Energy plans to build in southern Indiana. But the state hasn't approved those plants yet. And Indiana Public Broadcasting's Rebecca Thiel reports some environmental groups say the pipeline and the natural gas plants aren't needed. Centerpoint plans to replace some of its coal units with renewable energy and build the two natural gas plants as a backup, lowering greenhouse gas emissions. Because of this, the pipeline company, Texas Gas Transmission, says the federal government doesn't need to look into how the pipeline would affect the climate. But Tony Mendoza, a staff attorney for the Sierra Club, says that's not true, because Centerpoint was going to retire its coal units whether the pipeline got built or not. So the question is, what do we replace them with? Do we need more pollute, new polluting gas units, or can we do an entirely clean energy replacement like NIPSCO is doing? Mendoza says the natural gas plants and pipeline would harm the health of people in southern Indiana who already breathe in more pollution than many parts of the country. The Indiana Department of Natural Resources also says constructing the pipeline could harm endangered mussels and bats in the state. This is a region that has suffered a historic amount of pollution compared to other parts of the country, and so additional air, water, and land pollution that's being proposed here should be very carefully scrutinized. For Indiana Public Broadcasting, I'm Rebecca Thiel. Texas Gas Transmission said in a statement it has a decades-long track record of providing safe and quality service throughout the region.